Hello, and welcome to another edition of Bentley Tech EDU. Listen, this is really important. We're going to be going over a couple of things, particularly exporting your file. Please make sure you stay for the end of the video and watch how I export this so that it's not just a JPEG. It's really important. I want to cover presets. I want to cover profiles. I want to make this look really cool really fast. So I go all the way over on the bottom. I click on my presets. Look, there's all this cool stuff. You can do color, creative, black and white. There's natural, bright, and you know, just like Instagram. So what I'll do next is I will just jump to black and white. Take a look at some of these black and white punch. Ugh, not looking so hot. Soft, that's not bad. If you like it, hit the check. Now, don't forget, always adjust just a little bit. Never be happy with what they're telling you to do. If you are happy and you're pleased with it, then you can go with it. But you know, as I'm doing this, the one thing I'm noticing is my bananas are dead, my oranges are dead, and all the cool stuff, watch, before, after. All the cool stuff in the background, I can't see it anymore. It just looks flat and dead. So maybe what I'll try doing is knocking the color out of the top and keeping the color at the bottom. Now, remember, everybody, 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 um, if you don't have the official version, you may not be able to do all the cool things that I'm doing. So that's just the heads up. Just because I show it to you on Lightroom, you don't have to do it, okay? These are just things that I do to make my artwork look better, okay? So let me just get out of this. We're right back where we started. What I'll do now is just hit the auto. Actually, I can't even do that because it's got some changes on it. Here we go. Hit auto, brightens it a little bit. Look, here is that selective edit trick again. This time, I'm gonna do something which you've seen me do many, many times. I pick it up and I just desaturate the bottom. I shouldn't say desaturate the bottom as much as desaturate the top. Here we go. Time to go into my light and color effects. I'm gonna take my saturation and I'm gonna literally drop it down. So what I'm doing is I'm making the roof whiter. So here it is before and after. If you're happy with it, hit the thing, the little check. It's so subtle, you may not even be able to see it. What you're probably looking at is the bananas and the table and all that other stuff. Me, I'm looking at the top light and the roof being nice and white. Okay, um, so that was presets. If you go over a little bit more, you'll see profiles. Now profiles, pretty much the same thing. There are so many that you can look at. I mean, you've got basic, black and white, vintage. <gasps> the list goes on and on and on, but I don't care about any of that stuff, not right now, because I would just spend all day clicking these things and just going crazy. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to get out of it. I hit the X. Okay, I need to make this thing look straight and good. Let's try that. Now again, this is the bonus feature. If you don't have the official paying version, you may not be able to do it. This is going to allow me to work on my geometry. Notice it says upright and off. That's not what I'm looking at. Look at the far right. See those little lines right there? There's like these little lines right there. Here we go, watch. If I cut a straight line going down, it's gonna warp the image just a little bit. Did you see that? It kind of got a little straighter. To exaggerate it, watch as I take this bottom one and push it over. There we go. Now what I've just done is I've kind of skewed it in such a way that I'm straightening the image out. And it looks pretty good. When you're happy with it, just say that you're done. Okay, now, I do not like the mat at the bottom. Got to crop it, got to crop it. So going all the way to the crop button and I'm going to just take it in a little bit like this and scoot the picture over a little bit like that. I'm always thinking about the rule of thirds. Now, I want this left hand edge to look good, but you'll notice my light is kind of touching that edge. I, it's a give and take. What do you guys think? Do I leave it in? Or do I get rid of it? It's kind of a, a hit and miss situation. 
What I do know is that that mat does not look good. So I got to get rid of the mat just a little bit. Oops, I gave a little rotate. Don't want to do that. But I'm going to go just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. Looking good. And I'll push it over just a hair. And when you're happy, hit that. Okay. Looking good, ladies and gentlemen. All I got to do now is the main deal on this particular project, and that is the export of the file. Now listen, I'm not expecting a JPEG. I'm not expecting a PNG. I'm expecting you to export this file, not as a JPEG. No, on this one, you can choose DNG or TIFF. DNG or TIFF. Me, I prefer that you send it off as a TIFF. Now, Dimensions allows you to crop it so it's got smaller pixel dimensions. Say you want to send it off because your grandma doesn't have a lot of space on her phone. That's how you do that. Uh, bit depth, we're not really going to go too far into it. 8-bit, 16-bit. 16-bit is going to double your file size, so just be aware of that. Compression, there is um, different sorts of compression on different sorts of files. TIFFs have uh, LZW and ZIP. I ain't getting into it, not here. Transparency, hey, check this out. If we had a transparent background, like a PNG file, this is where you could do it on a TIF file. Go ahead and hit the check upper right-hand corner, and there you go. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially exported our file. This is the thing that we're going to turn in. This is going to be my, well, I guess I would just call it diningroom.tif, okay? so. If you turn in an image that's a PNG or a JPEG, you can expect to not get the full credit on that. This is my way of keeping you engaged with distance learning. This is my way of keeping you guys fully engaged with my class. That's about it. I'm really happy to be here. That's right, James Bentley at Bentley Tech, EDU. Come back, get more grades. Keep being awesome. Stay safe, everybody. Wash your hands.